So, Corfu Airport just dropped Svetlana off. She's got a flight back to the UK. So that's me on my own for the next 10 days here in Corfu. And we're uh, currently anchored in Garitsa Bay. So I'm not planning on moving. I'm planning on uh, cracking on with some work because I've got a lot of things to do. Uh, work, work rather than boat work. So, uh, so yeah. <laughs> Hi there, we're Andy and Svetlana. In the summer of 2021, we packed our dogs in the car and uh, made our way to Greece to start our new life as liverboards on a sailboat. This is our journey. I hope you enjoy it. And please like and subscribe. I'm taking the dogs ashore. As you can see, someone's very excited. Whoa. See, I've got to get in the water. This is what it's all about, isn't it, Trough? Hey, this is what it's all about. Ready? No, don't drop it there. Come on. Bring it over here. Bring it here where I can sit on the dinghy. I'll sit oh, I'll sit on the dinghy and you bring it here. Come on, Truff. Truffle. Come on, sweetheart. She pretends that she's going to get in because she's got short legs. But it's not true though, is it, Truff? You can jump. You're just a bit of a princess. Right. We'll go back and we'll feed everybody, shall we? What should we have? Because we have dog food this morning, so we have chicken tonight. Sorry to interrupt, but I wanted to let you know about the new merchandise store that we've set up with exciting uh, hoodies, sweatshirts, caps, t-shirts and mugs and all the other stuff on there. Three new designs that we've put together uh, and uh, yeah, we think they're really cool. So take a look and uh, buy some. Everything you do helps the channel and uh, you know, with all of the work that we've got to do, it's really needed. So thank you. When it starts puttering like that, it means it's probably a lot of petrol. So, I need to top her up. Okay. Good girls. When we wake. 
hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright oh, You and I, we got it Before I sleep, hear the crickets, see the moon, side by side and through and through, no limit to what we can do. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight, found what we're looking for in life. The outboard is packed in. It's flooding, so it's pissing petrol everywhere. So I've got to roll the dogs ashore. I had to do this last night twice. My back is wrecked. My wrist is wrecked. And I've got to get this outboard off and uh, get the carburetor off it. So. Beginning to hate Goretzka Bay. It's constantly, constantly rocky. We've got virtually no wind today, and look, we're still bobbing up and down like a cork. So, anyway, that's enough of having a pity party. Let's get these dogs rowed ashore, shall we, girls? What do you reckon? Do you want to go ashore? Me? Eh? All right. 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 So, looks like a bit mucky, doesn't it? Let's take that. Okay. So, that is the throttle. That's the choke. And this is the float ball. So. I'm gonna take the float take this off first, I think. So first things first, look at that. That is full of crud. So I need to clean that out and that just proves that is part of the problem. The float looks okay. So if it's, um, if it's sticking, it's probably the needle, this needle here. So I've got to work out how to get that out. So it's a very tight fit. There we go. So that's the float. And the float looks absolutely fine. And this is the this is the needle that basically stops the um, flow of fuel and that looks okay I think and it goes into there so what we're going to do is get some carburetor cleaner and some um, uh, q-tips and just start cleaning this up because I think that is our problem okay so with a little bit of googling I've got that spring on 
it seems to work okay. So that's the whole idea of it. So, uh, so I've cleaned everything in there. I've cleaned everything in there. That gasket looks okay. I'm just going to clean around this edge just to make sure there's a reasonable seal. And then uh, we'll put it back together, I think, and see what happens. So it goes this way around. Got to undo this rope, girls, and then we can go. Right, I think I need to change the fuel filter. At some point, I have got a spare fuel filter, so I might as well do that. Once I get back on board, that is, and take these dogs to the beach. Oh well, it's the uh, 11th of May, so Svetlana went back on the 2nd, and she's been delayed in the UK, uh, usual sort of hospital appointments and uh, delays with uh, consultations and God knows what, so she's now uh, not coming back to the 21st. So I've got another 11 days in Duritza Bank. And it's lovely here. It is lovely. But um, you get these awful swells coming in from the ferries. I don't know if you can see. I can't see if I don't turn the camera around. There's a ferry that's coming across the distance there. Super yacht there. So the super yacht there tenders come in. And they come to this um, landing over here and they do come through the anchorage quite quickly which causes a swell but we get a lot of swell from the ferries particularly the early morning ones where uh, they've got the pedal to the metal heading down to Igemenitsa from places like Venice and uh, Ancona and uh, yeah and that causes the boat to rock quite significantly side to side so much so that um, things fall off shelves and uh, yeah so we get that on a fairly regular basis which makes it quite uncomfortable uh, but the anchor's well dug in and uh, you know we've had some quite high winds coming through and uh, survived quite nicely uh, I've put the uh, 
it's on the on. It's, um, during the day, it's quite sunny, it gets quite warm, but it's still quite nippy in the evenings for uh, mid-May, so, yeah. Might go ashore uh, and grab a coffee, sure. It's, uh, yeah, I'm getting a bit of cabin fever. You guys are the only people I've really talked to since I've got this coffee. Well, I said that the weather prediction can sometimes be wrong. It said it was going to be at 25. It's now dusting at 35 knots. And, uh, yeah, it's a little bit bumpy. Just a little bit. But anyway, that whistling sound is the kettle, so I'm going to grab a cup of tea and just wait it out. <sighs> what a night last night. That's probably the worst I've had in a long time. So it got up to eight, to um, 30 knot gusts yesterday, and it was um, on shore, so it was blowing onto the, onto the shore. And uh, yeah, so when it got to the evening, it, things started to die down, but the wind state was still quite bad. And uh, I took the dogs out quite late last night, and the beach had disappeared. Um, it was literally just all swell. And uh, getting back from the beach was uh, uh, a bit of a nightmare. I'm just really glad that I actually uh, cleaned the car out on the outboard and we were able to, to motor. Uh, I got back to the boat and of course the swell, you know, the rudder is like half out of the water and it's slamming back down again. And poor old Truffle's a bit nervous at the best of times, bless her. So getting her back onto the boat was uh, entertaining. like this, I let the dinghy out and it's painted a little bit so it can spot it away from the boat, that way it's not going to crash into us and damage, I think we need to let it out to let it snatch so, uh, yeah, that's my next task I think.